All the inception. Say what needs to be said. All right, we got Mr. Pick 6, week one, NFL picks. Let's go with it. All right, Thursday night football. We got the Lions at the Chiefs. Not so much of a game there. Not too interesting. Not, not too much to talk about right there. I got the Chiefs by 13. Chiefs dominate. Mahomes do his thing to lead the Chiefs to the victory. Then we got the Bengals at the Browns. I got this by, I got this upset coming on. I got the Browns. I got the Browns winning by seven. The return of Deshaun Watson. I think Deshaun Watson will go out there and do his thing. Got knocked the rust off last year. So this one going to be an upset. They, it's a division game. They play two times a year. So, uh, you know, look for the Bengals to start off 0-1. And we got the Texans at the Ravens. Um, Ravens win, man. Just a big team win. Ain't nothing to talk about there. Uh, we know the Texans is rebuilding. They got a new quarterback. Uh, they're going to be throwing all kind of stuff at him. So it's a good team win. Ravens by 17. And we got the Bucks at the Vikings. Oh, uh, another situation here. Um, I think Vikings is a trending down team. And I like Baker Mayfield to come in, a new situation to come in and, and uh, lead this team to victory. He's coming in with some new energy. Uh, he's coming in hype. He's ready to show that he still got it. So I, I got the Bucks to win by five. Baker Mayfield show. And we got the, pa the Panthers at the Falcons. I got the Falcons and the Falcons winning by three. Falcons win by three. Experience takes over. Another young quarterback. Uh, two teams that's kind of looking for some identity right there. Um, two teams in the same division. So we'll see. I say I got the uh, Falcons by three. Then we got the Cardinals at the Commanders. I got the Cardinals by seven. His new coach is showing he's coming in. He's not playing around. He's showing them what leadership really is. The small things that really count. So when the small things that, that count, when you pay attention to those, you, you become more successful. So I think that's going to help uh, uh, the Cardinals and the, the Kyler Murray situation and all that. So the small things is going to get them over the hump. Cardinals by seven. Got the Cardinals by seven. And we got the Jaguars at the Colts. Bit interesting game right here. Interesting game. I got the Jaguars by 10. T Trevor Lawrence and Cal Calvin really coming in, man. They, they showing that what that connection is really doing. They're going to go out there. They're going to be real successful throwing that ball. And I think the Colts is going to be uh, trying to find their way with the new quarterback, the top draft pick coming out of Florida. He's going to show some signs and show some spurts of success, but ultimately he's a rookie and it's going to be his first game. So we got to, he's going to have a, a learning experience for sure. Now we got the 49ers at the Steelers. This should be a very physical game, one to watch right here. And like we talked about before, uh, we got Purdy coming out there being the starter and they're preparing for him. They're preparing for him. Look for Pittsburgh to upset uh, 49ers by, uh, by three. Just a good, solid game. A lot of hard hitting coming down to the wire. So uh, Steelers by three. And we got the Titans at the Saints. Man, y'all ain't see already Saints out there. They got Derek Carr. They got second-year coach Dennis Allen. Derek Carr is looking pretty good. You know, the first week of the preseason, he looked like he's ready to go command his team. He's ready to lead this team. He's ready to fill in the void of everything that was missing last year, and that was mainly scoring points. So Derek Carr, uh, they're going to come out there with an easy victory over the Titans, win by 10. And we got the Raiders and the Broncos going to the West Coast a little bit. Uh, divisional game, another, another team trying to find their identity. We got a um, new quarterback situation with Jimmy in, in Oakland. We got Sean Payton and Russell, Russell Wilson trying to trying to find their connection together. and um. See how they work together. Broncos by two. Sloppy game. Look for a sloppy game. Broncos by two. Somehow, Russell Wilson or maybe a PS2, you know, come have a pick six and, uh, and, and win this game. But it's a sloppy game, and the Broncos pull it through. All right, now we got my Eagles and my Patriots. Eagles and my Patriots. <laughs> they playing at the Patriots. Um, you know the Patriots going through it. They're always a well-coached team, meaning discipline and stuff like that. But uh, the athleticism is going to take over for the Eagles. The, the star power, the, the, the Eagle Nation is going to take over, man. And I got, and I got the uh, Eagles winning by 14. Jalen Hurts coming out there dominating with, through the air and with his legs like he usually do. All right, we got the Rams at the Seahawks. Pretty interesting game. We don't know what to expect right here. See how both teams are looking. Um, I like Seahawks to be a, a real contender this year. Um, Geno Smith is going to come in, and I, I like him to compete for, 
for the Office of Player of the Year uh, award. So I'm looking for the Seahawks to do big things right there, led by Geno Smith. Um, you know, sometimes the quarterback just got to find the right situation to be successful. And he was at the Jets and, and all that stuff, and they didn't put him in the right position. Pete Carroll is putting him in the right position, and you see what they're doing. They got good cornerback play over there with Tyreek Hill. I mean, Tyreek Woolen, sorry. Um, and expect them to go out there and, and do his thing also. Then we got the Dolphins at my charges. Dolphins at my charges. Man, it's going to be an explosive game. Jalen Ramsey's out with an injury. Uh, it's going to hold the defense back a little bit for the Dolphins. Watch for these young boys and these explosive uh, the explosive talent over here charges to go through the air and uh, you know put up make some big plays. Likewise, the same thing. Tyreek Hill, we know that speed, and Jaden Waller, you know they all got speed over there. Um, and look for the Chargers to make some plays also. But I got the Chargers to win by three. Just an explosive good game, man, to watch. Then we come in at the coming down to the end. You got the Packers at the Bears. Um, I got the Bears by 13. Justin Fields coming out there, maturing, and just being a better overall profession. Starting week one, he's, he's, he showed his desires of how he wanted to be successful. So now it's an opportunity to go out there and show. And I think the desires of his heart is going to come true, and he's going to go out there and be successful. On the other hand, um, Packers, Jordan Love, I'm not too sure about that situation. Uh, he still hasn't proven himself. I'm still waiting to see the athletic prototype Jordan Love that everybody was expecting. You know, you know, out there, he's kind of whipping it around out there in preseason, but he's not seeing too much of what is expected from the other side. So right now, it's, it's, it's okay, but I got the Bears by 13. And we got the Cowboys and the Giants. The night game, 820 game. Cowboys at the Giants. This is a big rivalry. If you don't know, it's always been a rivalry. But I got the Cowboys by six. I got my boys over there dominating at the cornerback play. We got Stephon Gilmore and Trayvon Diggs doing their thing. They're going to be the difference in this game right here because uh, we know we know, we know, know Brian Dayball, one of my partners over there. Brian, shout out to Brian Dayball. I was with him out there at, uh, at New England. He's very creative. He's going to go out there with his quarterback who is uh, on the up and, and, doing, and, and, and showing improvement. Last year, he did a heck of a job. And this year, um, I, I like him to do – you know, keep getting better, keep making steps. But he's playing against some dogs this first week, and he's going to have a challenge. But I like the quarter, cornerbacks be the difference in this game right here. And Cowboys win by six. Then the ultimate game everybody been waiting for, night game. The Bills at the Jets. Everybody waiting to see what the Jets going to do with Aaron Rodgers and how this team going to come together. They automatically, everybody automatically feels like this is a championship team because the defense played stellar last year, and they was – they was on their on they shit, you know what I mean? And expecting just adding Aaron Rodgers is going to take care of everything else, but we got to see how that's going to play out. I expect Aaron Rodgers to come out in the first half of the season, coming out excited with new energy, doing his thing. But, you know, it's a long, grueling season, like we say, like I always say, and we got to see how this whole thing playing out. So with that being said, the last game on Sunday night, I got, or is that Monday night? Oh, I got, um... The Jets by three. New energy, baby. Aaron Rodgers coming in, doing his thing. I think he's going to pull off the victory. And I also have the Bills as a trending down team. So the Bills is a team that got to be start to reinvent themselves and figure out how they're going to take on the future with these new athletes and these new weapons in this, new, in this conference coming in. So that new energy, Aaron Rodgers doing his thing, man. You know, shout out to the Jets, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> That's the art of interception. Week one, say what needs to be said.